Hello everybody and welcome. My name's Drew and I'm going to show you how to do some advanced photoshopping techniques to edit photos. I've already brought in a photo into Photoshop. It's a couple of people unwrapping gifts during Christmas and instantly I can see and I already know that there's a bit of a goldish reddish tint to everything. And it doesn't look that bad. I mean it adds a warmth to the picture which isn't a bad thing but it's not what I want. Uh, I know this because I had my camera set for a white balance of natural light because most of the light was coming through the window and that was fine but throughout the gift wrapping experience somebody decided to turn on one of the fluorescent light bulbs which ended up giving everything a reddish tint. So I want to get rid of that. The other thing I notice is that if I look at the histogram most of the information in the picture is from this point down. Very little is happening from this point upwards. And that's taking up the dynamic range. So if I can compress that dynamic range just to kind of get rid of that stuff, this picture is going to blossom. It's going to pop a lot more. So let's work with that first. Normally I would go to Image Adjustments Auto Contrast but that did nothing this time and that's because the dynamic range is full already let's try and do a redneck way to work around that so if I go back and I undo the auto contrast if I am able to select those highlights and get rid of them then I'm left with basically the rest of the photo to work with so that I can stretch its dynamic range so let's actually try and do that I want to select the highlights. To do that I'm going to go into quick mask mode which is over here and using my paintbrush with a black color uh, I have a soft bristle selected with a pixel of about 300 that'll work fine for my case and I'm going to just select most of the highlights. I can't get everything unless if I really went in and took my sweet time but I'm going to get most of them so here are some highlights in this light so I'm going to select them and most of the other highlights are found in the flame so I just selected them now I'm going to go back into the normal mode and pay attention to the histogram let's see if I did actually get rid of those highlights so I go back to normal mode it got rid of most of them but not everything there's still a little bit left if I go to image adjustments auto contrast there it did a lot right then and there let's undo that everything looks darker and preview the change everything looks brighter it looks like the room has blossomed it's more there and now you can actually see those reddish goldish tints even more which is not nice so we want to edit those colors as in many things in Photoshop, there's many ways to do this. Many, many ways. Uh, let's try the easiest one first off. If I go to Image, Adjustments, Auto Color, what that does is it looks at all the colors in the picture or what you've selected and it tries to normalize them. Uh, and when you have average pictures, this can work very, very good but when you have pictures with a predominant color throughout it can sometimes overcompensate and I think it's done at this time it definitely has uh, the picture is a lot bluer a lot duller looking a lot more lifeless so I'm gonna undo that that didn't work and a second way to edit colors is to go to image adjustments color balance this allows you to change red, green, and blue each three times. Once for the shadows, once for the midtones, and once for the highlights. So let's actually try and do that. I know I want to get rid of a lot of the red, so I'm going to pull out some of the red in the midtones, try a little red in the highlights, and a little bit red in the shadows. Let's see how that works. Okay, not much. And let's see what adding a little bit of blue does. 
and you just basically fiddle around you can move the sliders and preview it and see how it looks I kind of like it right there actually if I unpreview this you can kind of see like a like a filter was added a reddish pinkish filter if I preview it now it looks a lot more lifelike let me do that again unpreview that's what it started like and preview I really really like this the only other setting in the color balance is this thing called preserve luminosity and when you have that checked it's going to try and preserve the luminosity of the photo no matter what you do to the sliders for the different colors and so that means if you subtract reds and greens and blues it's going to still try and keep at the same brightness same luminosity it was before if you uncheck that now you have direct control over the luminosity so if you subtract reds the pitch is going to get darker if you add blues the pitch will get lighter no matter what you add it'll get lighter no matter what you subtract it'll get darker let's just see what that does you can see I definitely subtracted more than I added uh, I'm gonna leave it on preserve luminosity and accept it and just to show you that full effect let's go back to the original Ugh. back to the color balance one much much better I would actually have been pretty happy right there there's one other way to tweak the colors a little bit more and that's using the curves feature so right now I like the room as it is but I just want to go in and tweak their skin tones a little bit so I'm going to select deselect everything I'm gonna go back into quick mask mode and now I'm just gonna select their body the skin tones so I do this a little bit and I do this a little bit Okay. now that's masked what I selected but I actually want that to be what I edit so I have to now go to image nope S excuse me select inverse so now it's selected the inverse and let's just tweak the colors a bit so image now I'm gonna do adjustments and curves usually you edit curves for all three colors at once to control brightness contrast dynamic range sure let me just show you what that does see you can fiddle around with it and so on and so on but you can also select and edit the three different colors individually so let me go to red and I'm going to take down a little bit of the highlights in red and a little bit of the midtones and let me just see what adding a little bit of blue does okay I like the colors but now they've become a lot darker because I've subtracted so now I'm going to go back to red green blue for all three and bump them up a bit see what I do for increasing contrast okay good unpreview that preview it it didn't do much but it did enough to really change the colors for the better I think if I select OK select deselect so you can see the full picture and now let's try it go all the way back to the beginning Ugh. Now, when I first started, I thought that looked pretty good, but mm, now that I see what it could have been come, what it could have become, like this, I like it a lot better after the edits. So there you go. There's a few advanced photoshopping techniques put together to edit a typical photo. I hope that was helpful.